In this video, we will be reviewing the basic setup for your Hawkshead MT2XP, MT3XP, and MT4XP TPMS system. Replacing a sensor battery, troubleshooting the sensors, and turning off your system. When you purchase the MT2XP, MT3XP, and MT4XP TPMS system, you will receive a monitor with battery already included, the corresponding amount of sensors, sensor cap loosening tool, an Allen key, extra seals and extra locking screws, and operating instructions. When you receive your system, you will need to install the battery into the monitor. Click the small tab upwards to release the battery door. Install the battery according to the diagram located on the monitor. Once installed, replace the battery door, clicking it into place. Click the small tab down to secure the battery door. After installing the battery, simply turn on your monitor. Press and hold the minus button located at the top of your monitor. The monitor will illuminate, indicating that the system has been turned on. Next we will set the pressure and temperature alarms. Ensuring your system is on, press and hold the M button until the monitor beeps. Here you can choose PSI or bar. Using the plus or minus buttons, scroll between the two. When happy with your setting, press M to save. Next we will set the high pressure alarm for the first tire. Using the plus and minus buttons, Set it to your desired pressure and press M to save. Next, we will set the low pressure for the same tire. Using the plus and minus buttons, set it to your desired pressure and press M to save. Repeat these steps for the second, third, or fourth tire. Once you have set all your high and low pressure alarms, press M to save. Next, we will set the high temperature alarm for all the tires. Using the plus and minus buttons, set it to the desired temperature and press M to save. Next, you will use the plus and minus buttons to choose between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Once happy with your settings, Press the S button once to save and exit. To add your sensors, first ensure your system is turned on by pressing and holding the minus button. Once your system is on, simply screw the first sensor to the tire valve. Repeat this step with the second, third, or fourth tire by screwing the appropriate sensor onto the corresponding tire. Please allow up to two minutes for all information to appear on the monitor. While running, if an alarm should sound, you will receive both a visual along with an audio alarm indicating that there is a problem. The monitor will show you exactly what the problem is along with the corresponding tire. 
To silence the alarm, simply press any button on the monitor. You will continue to receive a visual alarm until the problem has been resolved. To replace the batteries in your sensors, remove the sensors from your tire valve and remove the black cap. Using a tool such as a screwdriver, carefully remove the battery from under the battery clip. Insert the new battery plus side up under the battery clip. The battery should fit snugly into place. Replace the black cap and tighten until finger tight. You can now return it to your valve stem. Please allow up to two minutes for all new information to appear on the monitor. If you should lose sensor signal, you will receive both an audio and visual warning along with no readings for that tire. Our first suggestion would be to ensure that the battery is working correctly. You may need to replace the sensor battery. Our second suggestion would be to switch the non-working sensor with a sensor you know that is working. Simply unscrew the sensor that has dropped signal and screw the same sensor onto another tire you know to be working. Now you should see if the fault follows the sensor or if it is a tire valve issue. Thank you for watching. All of our products and information can be found at our website.